Hey, can you grab me the tray out of the cupboard? Corner cupboards. Corner cabinets are the worst. To help us conquer this, I've got a lifelong kitchen designer with three simple tips. My mother. So mom, what are your three simple tips? Number one, when you're in the design stage, you should just blank off the corner cabinet. You don't lose as much space as you might think, and you gain space on either side and you can have larger drawers or cabinet space there. And if you happen to have a peninsula, you can utilize that space on the other side with um, some drawers facing on the back. So if you blank off the corner cabinet, how much extra room do you have for drawers in that run? Well, if it was a 36 by 36 corner, you'd have um, nine extra inches because you would still have to put in a three inch filler on each side for the handles. So tip number two, what's our most affordable solution to the corner cabinet? The most affordable solution is to either, in the design stage, cut back that middle shelf so that you have better access down to the bottom, or the other way, which can also be retrofitted into an existing corner cabinet, is to put a two-tiered system, one going the length one way and one the other way, cut back to about 14 inches, and that way you can utilize the space with better access. So what happens if you already have an existing corner cabinet and you try to put one of those full cutback shelves in there? Can you fit that in? No, you cannot. You have to do it in the planning stage because they have to put that shelf in before the countertop goes on. Yeah, I didn't believe her and we tried it and it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so don't try that at home. So if you have an existing kitchen and you're trying to utilize the most space possible, what's your best bet there? The Super Susan is your best bet. It's made on a ball bearing system and you can retrofit it into a um, existing cabinet or you can get it put into your brand new kitchen and it utilizes the whole space in the corner. What's the difference between the Super Susan and the Lazy Susan? The Lazy Susan, you don't have the shelf in the middle and you have a pole right up the middle of it and sometimes it can wobble and you don't get to utilize the side space as you do with the Super Susan because it's sitting on the shelves. So what about, the, what about those like magic corners and those different units that pull out of the corner? I've installed quite a few of those. Are those pretty nice? They are nice if you have an abundance of space because you do give up half the usable space with either one of those. Really? And what about cost? Like how expensive is the Super Susan compared to one of those Magic Corners? The Magic Corner is going to be at least five times the price of the Super Susan. So a Super Susan, maybe like $200 Canadian-ish or? Yep, per shelf. And then the Magic Corner runs 1500 to 2000 Wow. And hey, if you want to build one of these Super Susan retrofit type styles, click on this video up here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. When you're in the design stage, you should blank off the corner. <laughs> oh my God. Dear man.